This is a quick overview of the steps involved in making the 3D model. So we started with a sketch and extruded it and repeated the process for all of the walls of the building. Then started cutting out notches and mirroring them. And then once notches were cut out of one piece, they were mirrored onto another piece. And then the pieces were used as cutting tools to cut out the notches out of their mating piece. At this point, the walls were doubled up, and then sketches are going to be applied to the walls to cut out the tracks, and two of them were made, one for each side of the building. And then the building was assembled together. The pieces with the tracks were used as cutting tools to cut notches out of the other walls they adjoined to. And then the panels of the door were designed and duplicated until there were four panels. At this point, the internal mechanical parts of the building are being built. So there's the track, uh, there's the gear that's actually going to drive the belt. This is a model of the stepper motor. Notches are cut out of the track. The gear is attached to the stepper motor. The stepper motor body is used as a cutting tool to cut a notch out of the track. The belt is assembled. Notches are cut out of either end. The piece is then used to cut notches out of the front and back of the building, so it'll mate to the building. And then the traveler that rides along the track is designed. These are the pieces that are going to attach the traveler to the door itself to actually push and pull the door back. This is the gear and the rotary sensor that will be used to track the motion of the belt. This is the piece that the stop switches will be mounted onto, and those are the switches themselves. They're now being attached and placed, and then notches are cut out of the building by using that as a cutting tool. And then the pieces for the laser and the sensor are cut out and added in. And the door and the windows. And finally, everything's assembled.